Good morning and welcome to the second day here at Distributech. With me this morning I have Ken Budker who is the Senior Partner Verticals with Bell Labs Consulting, Nokia. Ken, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you, Claire, great to be here. Now in your um, global position, you've had a chance to speak with a lot of utilities. What are they saying? What is, what's coming? Well, Claire, a couple interesting things happening. Utility industry is on the verge of some big changes. Number one, we see revenues not growing as fast as many utilities had expected or planned for in their big capital investment programs. This is largely due to increased energy efficiency, also increased penetration of renewables, and particularly distributed renewals in the grid. Mm -hmm. This has caused utilities to begin to lose revenue in some cases, and look for ways to dramatically reduce costs. So huge emphasis on cost, and cost efficiencies and driving costs out of the business. The other thing is on the revenue side, utilities are looking for new ways to earn revenue. Either using their existing infrastructure, whether this is fiber or wireless networks that they're deploying, or to get into new business models with new energy services surrounded uh, with these renewable energy resources. Um, as a result, the networks, the networks that they use to manage, monitor and control the grid are becoming ever more essential, both for driving operations expenses out of the network, being able to measure, monitor, and control, um, as well as ways to launch potential new revenue-bearing services, uh, leasing out fiber to uh, commercial cellular operators for backhaul services, looking for cities to partner with for offering new smart city services. Um, it's causing uh, utilities to think creatively about their assets and, and how to get the most use out of them. I suppose utilities need the infrastructure anyway. It makes sense for them to continue to position themselves in such a central place. Yeah, and what's happening, uh, so in, in the, let's say if we look back 10, 10, 15 years ago, there was always a need to connect out to substations. Uh, so utilities are building fiber infrastructure, microwave infrastructure, networks to control their, their heavy iron uh, in, in, in the grid. With the move to renewables and also the move to uh, more distribution automation to drive uh, operations expenses out of the grid and improve reliability, they've now had to expand deeper and deeper from the substation closer and closer to the home and to the enterprise. And it's here where there's a lot of innovation happening globally. There's, a, there's really, a, many different technologies that you can use to connect uh, these devices out in the field. Um, and they all have their different economics. They all have their different pluses and minuses. We see a lot of utilities now beginning to use private LTE networks. Uh, this is the fourth generation wireless technology that are used globally by the commercial service provider uh, uh, community. Um, building private networks and private spectrum to connect these devices. You see also utilities rolling fiber deeper into the grid. And as a result, uh, that also creates some opportunities uh, for, for utilities because they're investing heavily in this infrastructure they need anyway to control the grid. And now they can use those infrastructures to provide new services. So for utilities that are wanting to, to explore this future, I mean, what, what, is, what do they need to do? What do they need to think about? So, um, so Bell, Bell Labs is the research and development organization behind, Bell, uh, behind Nokia. Um, and the way we work is in a way we call future back. So envision what the future is going to be like 10 years from now. Actually, the, the technology changes that we expect to happen over this next 10 year period are pretty well set in stone at this point. Um, look at what the network of the future should look like, and then look at no regret investments from today into that future that get you onto this path of hyper automation for renewables, uh, uh, network infrastructure that can not only support control of the grid, but potential new business models in the future. Um, this planning, this future back planning, uh, we call creating a vision of the utility of the future. Mm -hmm. Putting those milestones in place that are no regret investments with business cases that help a utility justify that investment, but also keep open the path to these new business models and perhaps new changes in regulation that are still, still in the mix and being cooked uh, in different places throughout the world. So that brings up a, a, an interesting question, and that is, what is legislation and regulation doing to either help or hinder this process? Uh, good question. <laughs> so, Clara, the answer very much depends on where you are. And, and uh, 
different governments throughout the world have a different posture on regulation and the use of utilities uh, as, a, as a way to drive new innovation uh, in the market. I would say on, on the, say the most uh, progressive side, you, you have uh, Germany, for example, that yeah. has been very aggressive in changing government policy to create what we have right now, uh, the whole renewable industry. You, you can trace uh, the, the economies that we have today to policy decisions that the Germans made early on to move to uh, carbon-free uh, um, technologies. Um, uh, so um, they're very, say, forward-looking uh, posture. Um, the U.S., where I'm from, uh, let's say, tends to be very much more uh, wait and see what happens, and then uh, technology changes, the world changes, and then regulation catches <laughs> up with with the, with what is the reality today. So um, between those two points, you, you find a lot of variation across across the globe, um, but. Uh, the one thing that I find in common is a lot of these infrastructures now as we look to the future are getting more and more linked. A lot of the new wireless technologies that will be released, for example, 5G wireless technology, which will be a general purpose technology just like electricity is today, this will be the foundational building block of the next industrial revolution. So this will be the wireless technology that's used to automate cars, to automate factory warehouses, um, also to automate city infrastructure. All of this infra wireless systems require a lot of fiber, uh, much more than we have today. Uh, and uh, governments are beginning to think about different ways to change policies to get that fiber out to where it can be used for these wireless systems. So um, this is a, I say stay tuned and, and watch. This is a, a very exciting area uh, of, of, of development. Ken, thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time this afternoon, but I do look forward to catching up with you again and seeing how the utility of the future is progressing. Great. Thank you very much, Claire. From Distributech, thanks so much for joining us.